Peter had 15 and 17, okay? Um, and we had an 11 inch for really true mobility in the Alienware platform as well. So we've decided that actually, if we want to go for a desktop replacement, instead of having a 17 inch, we're going to have an 18 inch, okay? Now, keep in mind, when we talk Alienware, everything we do is the most powerful in the world, okay? So we have the most powerful 11 inch in the world, we have the most powerful 14 inch in the world, the most powerful 15 inch in the world, the most powerful 17 inch in the world, and the most powerful 18 inch in the world. The most powerful desktop in the world, the most scalable and most powerful desktop in the world as well. So everything we do you know, comes with the most powerful. Okay? That's just the way Alienware is. Um, so what we've done now is we've decided really what we're going to focus is on true mobility, which is a 14 inch, okay? which is considerably lighter than its, uh, its predecessor in the 15 inch. Yeah, the 15 inch was still you know, relatively heavy. Um, this is now truly, truly portable. Okay? And then on the desktop replacement, moving from 17 up to 18 inch. Now, on the 17 inch, we also have, we've maintained the 17 inch and we've refreshed that. So that now comes with 3D, okay? And it's the first Alienware to have 3D screens. So it comes with NVIDIA glasses in the box. So, you know, you just buy it and you can go from 3D to 2D, okay? So we should be hitting some pretty uh, interesting price points on our new 17 inch, um, which is lighter, better battery life. 18 inch, you know, just absolutely a beast. You know, we're using dual 100 watt NVIDIA graphics cards on this, the only 18 inch in the world which has got dual 100 watt or dual graphics cards, okay? Um, here we're using, now, now we're back down to using single watt um, graphics cards, we use 45 watt NVIDIA graphics cards here again. For 14 inch, just gives absolutely outrageous uh, performance. Let's talk about our 18 inch for just a moment. Um, we actually factory overclock our 18 inch uh, notebook to four gigahertz, okay? Now, nobody in the world goes anywhere near that, okay? A 17 inch refactory overclocked that to about 3.5 gigahertz, okay? So, you know, basically, for, let me explain that in, in real terms. It's kind of like driving from here to, uh, to Cape Town at 100 kilometers an hour in second gear, okay? That's basically how it works. If you did that in any other kind of manufacturer, you know, firstly, you would blow the engine in your car, and then you bring it to your dealership and you go, well, you know, why is this engine blown? And he goes, well, what did you do with it? Well, I drove in second gear at 140 kilometers an hour from here to Cape Town. Okay, he goes, well, of course it's going to blow up. We actually do that in the factory, okay? You're still in warranty if you overclock this to four gigahertz. It's the maximum you can do, okay? It's absolutely outrageous, you know, the, the, the amount of stress we put on these systems to be able to get the fastest possible performance, you know, from a, a graphics perspective. Also, from a performance perspective, we use um, Extreme uh, processors, so the Intel i7 Extreme, we use Intel i7 overclockable processors, okay? Um, you've got your know, dual hard drives going on here, so you've got a terabyte, you know, two 500 gig hard drives, you strike a mirror, which basically means that while one hard drive is working, okay, the next one is <coughs> one step ahead, so you move like that, okay, so you zigzag so that there's absolutely no lag, okay? So you get quicker performance, and actually, at the end of the day, you know, when you're talking about people who game to the level of Alienware, you know, gamers, you know, that split second is vital. That can be the difference between you, you know, winning and losing, okay? And that's where we do you know, really everything on the extreme sense. A couple of things that are really nice about this new range as well is the fact that um, we're the only ones in the world that actually do HDMI in, okay? So basically, what you can do is um, you can get... Uh, an Xbox paddle. And rather than using your, uh, your controls here, if you want to use a paddle, you actually you can either plug in the paddle, or else if you want to use it wirelessly, you just plug in a little adapter which you can buy in any electronic store you know, into your USB port. You can use this Xbox paddle as your controls. Okay. Also, what we have is we've got high definition wireless on this as well, which means that actually um, this goes at 60 hertz across the you know, any room, so you can actually then game on a very very large screen with less than one millisecond lag, okay? So actually what you could do is, it's kind of like what we talked about in Wi-Di, but it's at a much, much, much higher level, much, much higher. If you tried to use Wi-Di, you know, you'd have a much greater lag, okay? We're talking about less than one millisecond of a lag between the big screen and what happens here. So I could be playing on a screen that size with a paddle here with absolutely no idea of what's going on there, as I said, one millisecond between there and there, okay? Pretty impressive. So I just wanted to show you uh, the Alienware. As I said, your Rage is just around the corner. You know, we've got a presence with, uh, with Alienware at Rage. Um, so you're going to see quite a lot of you know, things happening there. You're going to be able to 
see some of the gamers using you know, Alienware and some of the, the features that we have there. Uh, so you know, I think it's going to be you know, a good event, and I think the range that we have in Alienware is the best we've ever, ever had, ever. You know, and I think you know, everything that we've had from feedback from the gamers you know, has just been absolutely phenomenal on, uh, on this.